and I'm their voice. I'm their voice, and I use my platform to continue to shed light on everything that may be going on, not only in my community, but around the uh, you know, this country and around the world. Criticizing LeBron James and any pretty much athlete who chooses to use their platform. Yo, say, mashallah, LeBron James, mashallah. I'm happy that you're standing up for these things, but don't forget about the Palestinians. You not speaking the truth is a problem. This is a teachable moment. Instead of Zlatan using his influence to, you know, say, hey, great job with this. Let's talk about the Uyghur people. Why are we waiting for LeBron James? Why aren't we talking about it? Why aren't we using our platforms to talk about our brothers and sisters in Kashmir? Why aren't we doing that? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And um, it's sad the world that we live in. It's really sad that we can have people, specifically Muslims with influence, and they choose not to use their influence to influence the good. Instead, they choose to influence so that they can take advantage of partnerships, brand deals, and sponsorships. And I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think I have a few myself, a few brand partners myself. But I think the problem becomes when you do not speak justice in fear of losing those brand deals or brand partners. Because what you're doing is essentially um, disrespecting Allah. That's what you're essentially doing. You're disrespecting Allah to believe that it is not... It, it is not that it's not your truthfulness and your honesty and the blessings of Allah, of Al-Wahhab, that you don't even deserve, yet you have, and you, you've associated that to, oh, it's because of me, or no. Like, you not speaking the truth is a problem. What did the Messenger wasallam teach us about truthfulness? He based our levels of Iman according to how much we speak up against the truth. We have this brother, Zlatan, criticizing LeBron James and any pretty much athlete who chooses to use their platform or not just athlete, but like someone, you know, he called out an athlete, but someone who chooses to use their platform to talk about other things like racial inju uh, injustice and social inequality and so on and so forth, right? He's associated that that's being political when, when that's not, not really true. You know, that's not really true. That's what made Muhammad Ali, you know, uh, may Allah have mercy on him, so amazing because you know him for how he stood up against certain, uh, uh, certain issues that were prevalent at that time. So guess what? He spoke up about the Vietnam War because he was in that time. He spoke up about how black people are mistreated within America. That was something in his time and it's still in today's time. Instead of you taking this opportunity and your platform to, yo, say, mashallah, LeBron James, mashallah, I'm happy that you're standing up for these things, but don't forget about the Palestinians. Or hell, maybe you talk about the Palestinians. Maybe you talk about the Uyghur people. Maybe you talk about them, right? Why are we waiting for LeBron James? Why aren't we talking about it? Why aren't we using our platforms to talk about our brothers and sisters in Kashmir? Why aren't we doing that? You think it has to be LeBron? You think it has to be Zlatan? No, it could be any of us. Which reminds me to tell you that Ramadan is approaching very, very soon. And today's Asma al Husna, something that's helping you remember the 99 names of Allah so that you can call upon Allah with these beautiful names. That's the goal, ideally. Today's name is Al Hakam. Al Hakam, meaning the just, the absolute just. You know, someone asked me today on Instagram, SQ, I'm having doubts because of how, you know, I'm wondering that if a non-Muslim who didn't know about Islam goes to Allah on the day of judgment and Allah is going to toss him to hellfire, but he never heard about Islam. What you forget is Allah is Al-Hakam. He is the absolute just. If there is good in someone, if there's a good deed that earns them paradise, he will give it to them. He will give you the reward for whatever you have done. But Allah is a rahim specifically to the believers. Meaning we believe, and this is nothing to shy away from. We believe that la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah is the way that you will enter paradise. Not if you believe in, in, in children, not if you believe in shirk. We respect all faiths. Try to understand this. We respect all faiths. But I will strongly disagree with something that I don't... Uh, believe in right that's not the same as me that doesn't mean you're wrong for believing in what you believe in 
the same way I would be offended for someone to call me wrong, I should be I should be offended on their behalf or just blatantly call. That's why I was rude when I gave dawah to that guy uh, on Times Square. I was rude. I spoke to him rudely. Show me where he says he's the son of God in the Bible right now. Take out the Bible. Take out the Bible. He's always saying he's the son of God. That's he's always saying it. He's always saying it. Tell me the verse. And not only he's saying it. His Whoa, Tell me the can verse. I finish talking? Tell me the verse. Can I finish talking? Tell me the verse. Can I finish talking? And I owned it. But you know, the real, the, the real fruits of that ownership comes in the next time I speak to someone else. How gentle I am. How good I am. You know, we, we've put these people on pedestals. You know, let's, we, we talk about Zlatan talking about, you know, LeBron James. Look at, you know, Habib. Habib just doing crazy stuff right now. Amazing things for the sake of Allah. You know, uses his platform for the right things. He will say, he'll post an ayah of the Quran. He'll post some Quran. Talk about the Uyghurs. Talk about the Palestinians. Talk, do, do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. Let's all use our influence. We all have some influence. Let's bring up these conversations within our household. Forget online. Forget Facebook. Forget Instagram. Forget making YouTube videos about this. Let's talk about the racial inequalities within our whole household at the dinner table. That's even if we have dinner together. Ramadan is coming. That's a great time for you to bond with your family. That's one of the best things about Ramadan. You collectively as a family unit break your fast. It feels good. It feels good. Those are lessons for us to learn. Why wait until Ramadan is over to start learning from its prior experiences? Why wait for it to arrive before we start preparing? Why? Let's start now. Let's start the training now. Let's, let's make the niyyah right here, right now to make this the best Ramadan. Let's make that niyyah right here, right now. What's stopping you from making the niyyah? What are you afraid of? That you're going to fall back into the same habits? That you're going to do the same things all over again? Make the niyyah right now. Purify yourself. Make the niyyah. May Allah forgive us and have mercy on us. Wallahi, we are all sinners in our own way. No one should ever think that they're better than someone else. And I'm not trying to point out people's mistakes, this and that, but, you know, people, like, this is a teachable moment. Instead of Zalatan using his influence to, you know, say, hey, great job with this. Let's talk about the Palestinians as well. Let's talk about the Uyghur people. Let's talk about the Kashmiris. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's open these conversations instead of celebrating the fact that, hey, LeBron James, good job doing that. That's when you want doubt. Bro, come on. Come on. It, like, if someone is doing good, what did the Messenger Sallallahu talk to us about? I spoke to you about this earlier, about the Iman. He related how, how vocal you are, how much against injustice according to your levels of Iman. He said the highest level of Iman is when a person just goes and stops it physically. Physically, they're able to stop. They stop the fight. They stop the problem. The second is, if you can't physically do it, you vocalize it. You say, hey, you try to stop it. You try to get help. You try to get help. You use, to some degree, your influence to get some help. Or your, 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 your eagerness to stop the situation to get some help. And the last thing a person could do when they see some injustice is just hate it in their heart. Like, kya kare? Uh, may Allah make it easy for them. Uh, I feel like a lot of us do that. And the Messenger saw some related that to the lowest and weakest forms of Iman. So look, LeBron James or Zlatan, let's all just use our influence and, 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 and impact and speak about these things. You can't physically stop it, right? But you're using your voice because you know it has influence. And I think that LeBron James said a really interesting thing when he said that. His influence, he's using it. Shouldn't we all? Should we all use our influence to impact the world, the ummah, pray for the ummah? Do you think praying sincerely, waking up at the hajjad wouldn't help? It would help. Huh? What if we all just did that? What if we all just had a, the hajjad together? Let's wake up. Let's fast for certain countries, asking Allah collectively to make it easy for them. Let's do that. Let's do that. Why not? What's stopping us? Our fear. Our insecurities. Thinking we're not good enough. Perhaps. But I'm not good enough. But I still try. I still try, right? Like, you got to try. Today I had an incident where I had to ask a question about my istikhara. Something didn't go, like, something that I feel like didn't go right in my istikhara. And I saw it. Is that a sign that I should stop? My friend Shuaib, aka the Sunnah guy, he said, Bro, that's like you going to the wedding and you get a flat tire. And you think, oh, no, let's turn back. That's not a sign. It just means you got to change your tire. That's it. 
the test. It, it tested you right there. You were uncertain about it, so you just backed out of it. You got cold feet, and you th thought of it as a sign. No. This is what separates the juice from the froth. I have a, I have a show coming out soon, inshallah, that's, that, that would need your help to even get launched. Uh, and all I got to say is if you're someone who's a young couple who's having trouble convincing your parents to get married, this is, this is where I'm, my show is going to be about. So if you're someone in America or in the UK, let me know because that can be something that we could talk about, inshallah. But the juice and the froth is a real thing. I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and may Allah SWT increase you, bless you, provide for you, and allow us to be just. Allow us to practice justice within our household, our lives. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.